mind. It's okay. Calm down. Just relax. You're gonna be fine. That's smart of you. Achieved our objectives. It's always gonna be better than a machine. Unfortunately, you sustain life threatening injuries. You're stable, but you got a long way to go. Who are you? It's me, Taylor. I guess that will go, don't you? Yo, how's everybody doing? My name is Airboy Aaron, and welcome back to Call of Duty Black Ops 3. We're at part three of the campaign. Hey. Still with us? Welcome back. Yeah. Do you know what's happening to you? Am I dreaming? Let's say you are. Why not just go with it, right? After all, you can always wake up. December 12th, 2054, 7.30 a.m. We're on board a private commuter train headed to the Zurich headquarters of the Coalescence Corporation. Our uh, cargo, prototype for the Winslow Accord Neural Network Initiative, at its core specialized AI software that's capable of rewriting itself in order to interface with any other system in the world. State-of-the-art stuff back in the day. It'd go on to revolutionize a broad range of military and civilian applications. At least, it would have if the train had reached its destination. At 7.31 a.m., a terrorist group detonated an explosive device on board this train. The incident set back our robotics program several years. You're here to stop it. This is good. It can't be. What is happening? Right now? Right now, you're in a medically induced coma being prepped for surgery. You've got a new bit of hardware inside your head. It's called a direct neural interface, or DNI. I've got one too. That's how I'm able to communicate with you. Your DNI is what connects your mind with your new body and the larger world around you. We're connected. All of this is a simulation inside our minds. And you got a long way to go. Alright, I'm loving this. Alright. Back in the action, let's go. RPG! 11.30 a.m. December 11th, 2054. Zerk security forces received an anonymous tip giving them the location of a hideout the terrorists are using. Unfortunately, the ZSF underestimated the firepower these assholes were packing. They got caught with their pants down. And they took it hard. Outcome. Outcome. Train, Train go boom. Go. You remember Diaz? Diaz? I think so. I'm gonna help get you up to speed on some of the cool new shit. Communication, brother. We all gotta be in sync. You're Taylor. You're a fucking dick. He didn't hear shit. If I want to talk to you, the DNI transmits on a closed channel. I don't even have to think about it. But, uh, just so you know, if you ever think about calling Taylor a dick for real, brother, he's gonna mess you up worse than those robots. All right, let's go see if you can do this without ending up with Hey, Taylor, do you hear that news? You're a fucking dick! <laughs> okay, Am I around here? Hi. Bang. Bang. Oh, the fucker. 
Grenade. Wow, I didn't do shit. Really? Yeah, bitch. What the hell? Oh, shit. Yeah, let's try that again. Yeah, bitch. Oh, that's right. It was right there. Take over. Yeah, take over. Shot his leg. He died from me shooting his leg. That is sad. Bitch. All right. Use your enhanced mobility. It may take a little getting used to, but your confidence will soon grow. Try it for yourself. I got a hundred says you can do it. All right. Not bad. Yeah, bitch. What the fuck? Back up. Hi. Noted. Bitch. Bitch. Damn it, I can't see him. Oh, there he is. Bitch. Don't you die? Okay. Heh, <laughs> shot his ass. Not good. Keep moving up. Check your ammo. Grab more if you need it. Bitch. 
Heh, I shot him in the dick. Yeah, bitch. Bitch. Why didn't you die? I had a better gun. Yeah, bitch. He and I didn't just help us communicate with each other. It allows us to interact with a variety of computer systems. Is that right? Pretty much all the basic drone units. Now, bipeds, sophisticated ground units, those are a whole lot trickier, brother. Those sons of bitches got a damn hive mind. You try to process and control all that, your brain is toast. But these? These fuckers are easy. Go ahead. Back in. Go see what's on the other side of this wall. Hmm. Let's try. Let's try the ground one. Fits like a glove, right? Now somewhere through there is the generator. Take it out, and that door should open. All right. Well, I'm gonna leave this episode here. If you liked it, hit the like button. Leave a nice comment. Enjoy the rest of your day. And remember, whether or not whether you're in a video game or real life, it doesn't matter if you win or lose. All that matters is that you play the game. Goodbye, everybody.